You don't need me to tell you that today's ceremony is different from our usual format. But despite the continuing constraints of meeting up, we believe it's important to mark your success. Everyone progressing to associate, fellow, or indeed marketing at long service here today has shown a commitment to the profession that is worthy of celebration. For those who are graduating, you should be proud. We know how much hard work and study it takes at any time, and managing this over the last year has been particularly trying. Those of you who sat the November 2020 exams, some of whom were delayed from June last year, have had extra barriers to navigate. But of course, you're among the first to qualify through virtual exams. The technical changes and challenges have, for many of you, led to greater contact with the Institute, as we've all learned and adapted to new ways of working over this past year. This includes the cancellation of the exams, the setting up of the virtual systems, and the training of students in how to use that virtual system. We acknowledge that this must, at times, be really quite stressful for students. However, staff at the Institute have worked hard to create the new exam system and to ensure that the qualification process has been able to continue. We see the fruits of their efforts, as well as of yours, here today. Fortunately, in some parts of the world at least, we see signs of society opening up again, and I do hope you can take the opportunity to continue to celebrate with those who have supported you in your studies, be that family, friends or employers, which leads me nicely to your future career. Networking is a key element of support and development, and I implore you not to underestimate your network. Some of you will already have established a cohort of people for help and advice, and each of you has been assigned a local branch of the Institute. Use this to meet your peers, take advantage of their knowledge and their experience, and take part in activities to develop your, your own knowledge and skills. Don't forget that your Institute also provides training and development opportunities, and above all, nurture your network. Whatever your level, you are part of a distinguished community of highly qualified governance professionals whose skills and talents are very much in demand. The explosion in good governance across the private, public and not-for-profit sector in recent years means there's never been a better time to work as a governance professional. Your qualification opens up fascinating opportunities and really interesting job prospects. And the fact that there are so many people here today celebrating careers of over 50 years, I believe exemplifies that. So my congratulations to all of you, it's time for you to celebrate. Many congratulations on graduating and welcome to our Institute. It is an excellent time to gain admission as there are huge opportunities in the areas of company secretarial and governance. 2020 was a very difficult year with exams being postponed and then moved online. You adapted to this new environment and managed to pass your exams. Adapting to change and being agile is a key trait of the company secretary, so congratulations again. I qualified as a chartered secretary 20 years ago and I've seen a big increase in the demand for company secretaries and governance professionals, particularly in the last 10 years. During my career, having this qualification has ensured that I progress to senior positions in different organizations. It has also allowed me to work in a wide variety of areas, including company setup and compliance, advising on company law elements of transactions, share scheme advice and administration, director training, board evaluations, and review of governance frameworks. The companies I've worked with have been drawn from sectors including financial services, PLCs, state bodies, not-for-profits and large privates. There is no organisation where governance is not a priority and if governance is not of a high enough standard, the sustainability of that organisation is in jeopardy. The company secretary and governance professional are key in supporting the board in a range of areas, including ensuring compliance with legislation, board reporting, supporting the chair and minute meetings, assisting with the design of robust governance frameworks. The fact that many of you will be sitting around a board table, observing directors setting strategy and monitoring the implementation of that strategy is an exciting prospect. If you work in professional services, you may provide the above in an outsourced or advisory capacity. I have found huge job satisfaction working in a wide range of areas with a slew of different people in a variety of organizations. If the work is interesting, and you're constantly learning, you will have job satisfaction. The work can be challenging, but is never dull. And given the evolving landscape, if you're willing to be agile and embrace change, you'll have a long and interesting career with great opportunities for advancement. A number of roles are being taken over by technology. However, as the company secretary or governance professional requires emotional and political intelligence, 
and the ability to deal with a wide range of stakeholders, I believe that we are safe from the machines in the longer term. Becoming involved in the Institute, starting with Irish Council and now sitting on UCREAT Committee and chairing the Qualifications Committee, has provided me with a wonderful network of contacts who I can reach out to, ask questions and discuss company secretarial and governance topics. I would urge you to get involved with the Chartered Governance Institute at a regional level, as it is a great way to build your network. Could I also ask that you act as an advocate for the profession by telling friends, colleagues and family about your fulfilling role. Congratulations again, and I look forward to meeting some of the class of 2021 in person in the near future. Thank you. Odorska Burden, graduate. 2020 Ashling Clohesy Graduate 2020 Alex Musinguzi Graduate 2020 Alexander Ini Graduate 2020 Ali Yabatu Graduate 2020 Amy Dakers Dixon Graduate 2020 Andrew McVitty Graduate 2020 Andre Pishkin Graduate 2020 Hi I'm so proud to receive this graduation. It took four times and finally I got it. Anisha Raheja, graduate, 2020. Anita Friedland, graduate, 2020 Annette Valentine Graduate 2020 Audrey Jean Nicaza Graduate 2020 Babu Kunal Singh Askern Graduate 2020 Hi everyone I would like to thank my family and my tutors for their support. Mom, Dad and Grandma, this is for you. Thank you. Bhavani Kandeka, Graduate, 2020. Carla Messino, Graduate, 2020. Carol Vetter, Graduate, 2020. Carolyn Solenke, Graduate, 2020. Shatali Doshi, Graduate, 2020. Thank you, my friends and family, for supporting me, especially my husband, who has taken special care of my daughter because of which I am able to reach him. Charlotte Ringham, Graduate, 2020. Christian ASMR Graduate 2020 Christine Bevan Graduate 2020 Christopher Gibbons Graduate 2020 Dawn Howard Graduate 2020 Elena Thorne, Graduate, 2020. Elsa Lomi, Graduate, 2020. Emily Spooner, Graduate, 2020. Francesca Goddard, Graduate, 2020. George Joan Flavia Karen, Graduate, 2020. Georgina Brill, Graduate, 2020.
the Rija Bubon. Graduate, 2020. Godwin Matenga, graduate, 2020. I am honored to qualify as a company secretary and I'm grateful to those who helped me achieve this. Grace Kilaba, graduate, 2020. Gula Pashaeva, graduate, 2020. Ian Mackay, graduate, 2020. Ivana Parpuva, graduate, 2020. Jean-Claude Pamal, graduate, 2020. Jennifer Sabalamu Namuanj, graduate, 2020. Jenny Klassen. Graduate, 2020. Jennifer Goddell. Graduate, 2020. Joanna Nakanda. Graduate, 2020. Josephine Dodgien. Graduate, 2020. Katie Eldred. Graduate, 2020 Kelly Jones Graduate 2020 Kirsty Blythe Graduate 2020 Kofo Abayomi Graduate 2020 Krutika Bat Graduate 2020 Hello everyone, so happy to have graduated and congratulations to each one of you. Lara Paulot, graduate, 2020. Laura Olson, graduate, 2020. Laura Cruikshan, graduate, 2020. Leanne Davidson, graduate, 2020 Lenka Lamont Graduate 2020 Liberty Boyd Graduate 2020 Louis van der Waal Graduate 2020 Louise de Bolla Graduate 2020 Special thanks to my family, my partner and my son on my graduation day. We thought this day would never come, but we've done it. Woo -woo. Luke Divers, graduate, 2020. Mary Johnston, graduate, 2020. Manel Hady, graduate, 2020. Melanie Morley, graduate, 2020. Melissa Lee, graduate, 2020. Michael Camru, graduate, 2020. Mokshada Rada, graduate, 2020. Naomi McCormick. Graduate, 2020. Natasha Tabba. Graduate, 2020. Nirov Shah. Graduate, 2020. Oberia Kasami Ola. Graduate, 2020. Oluwatoyan Onafujabi. Graduate, 2020. 
Technology Chin and C. Bullock. Graduate 2020 Pearl Ray Bay Graduate 2020 Pritesh Shah Graduate 2020 Raphael Bahati Tweed Magaya Graduate 2020 Rebecca Hunter Graduate 2020 Ritika Verma Graduate 2020 Hi, I want to thank my best friend Akansha Gupta for pushing me through my studies and helping me graduate from ICSA 2020 and I'm so happy Rizwana Ismail Graduate 2020 Rob Morgan, graduate, 2020. Ronia Perez, graduate, 2020. Congratulations, everybody. Here we are finally done. Roxanne Miller Graduate 2020 Ruxalal Maho Med Graduate 2020 Hello, it is an honor to perform part of this ceremony. I would like to congratulate all the graduates for their achievements. Sandra Ajay Graduate 2020 Sarah Newton, graduate, 2020. Sarah Penny, graduate, 2020. Savin Alorna Payandi Pile Ramen, graduate, 2020. Shahina Sultana, graduate, 2020. Shamsuddin Teraba, graduate, 2020. Shannon Grace, graduate, 2020. Shuwoi Lee, graduate, 2020. Sunaina Mohabir, graduate, 2020. Stella Mandebu. Graduate 2020 Stuart Riddick Graduate 2020 Susanna Chippendale Graduate 2020 Susan Chirinor Graduate 2020 Tara Duncan, graduate, 2020. Tom Cluett, graduate, 2020. Tonit Zaiyamoti, graduate, 2020. I appreciate my friends and my family for all their love and constant support. Congratulations, class of 2021. We made it! Valeria Miranov, graduate, 2020. Veronica Morrissey, graduate, 2020. Victoria Skinner, graduate, 2020. Wendy Onofalujo, graduate, 2020. Yvonne Parr, graduate, 2020. Yvonne Miller, graduate, 2020. 
Zahida Hussein, graduate, 2020. Zainab Dorda, graduate, 2020. Charlotte Thomas, affiliate, 2020. Fatima Temiteo Akandi, affiliate, 2020. I'd like to thank my parents, my friends, and my colleagues for their support all through the year. Congratulations, class of 2020. Yay, we made it! Gabrielle Reno, affiliate, 2020. Glenn Newman, affiliate, 2020. Joanne Munro, affiliate, 2020. Joshua Perry, affiliate, 2020. Madeline Breach, affiliate, 2020. Martina Sablone, affiliate, 2020. Matthew Kane, affiliate, 2020. Nelly Reese, affiliate, 2020. I passed to the now to the stars and beyond. Pauline Murari, affiliate, 2020. Penny Ball, affiliate, 2020. Rachel Wall, affiliate, 2020. Sarah Fox, affiliate, 2020. Tarun Kumar, affiliate, 2020. Xiaowei Brown, affiliate, 2020. Ajay Ernest Charles D. Cruz, Associate, 2020. Alex Witcherly, Associate, 2020. Amanda Iken, Associate, 2020. Anant Raghu Wanshi, Associate, 2020. Anjali Raj Katnani, Associate, 2020. Hello everybody, I would like to thank my family for all the love and support that they've shown me throughout the journey and I'm really looking forward to the association with the Institute. Thank you. Anna Finney, Associate, 2020. Aoife McCarroll, Associate, 2020 Anup Chakraborty Associate 2020 Bupendra Parsottam Dusara Associate 2020 Caroline Kirby Associate 2020 Caroline Jenkins Associate 2020 Chondanadol Associate 2020 Cheshtar Chabra Associate 2020 Thank you everyone who have supported me through my ICC qualification journey. Love your mom, dad, and my husband. Chaitan Sharma Associate, 2020. David Stafford. Associate, 2020. Amon Stewart. Associate, 2020. Elias Edu. Associate, 2020. Yvonne Chan. Associate, 2020 Gabrielle Dixon Associate 2020 Gulnaz Raja 
associate 2020 Hannah Wade associate 2020 Harry Matthews associate 2020 Indu Mitra associate 2020 Jackline Ryland Associate 2020 Jade Jones Associate 2020 Joseph Mercer Associate 2020 Juliana Kimono Associate 2020 my name is Juliana. I'm from Uganda. I'm excited to be part of this graduation ceremony. Congratulations to me and congratulations to all the other participants. Kushbu Rothor, Associate, 2020. Christina Ferguson, Associate, 2020. Lakshmadevi Pornusomi, Associate. 50 plus and 60 plus year membership. Laura Conway, Associate, 2020. Laura Parsons, Associate, 2020. Lovanya Kutu Tutharail Yesodaran, Associate, 2020. Marcel Jones, Associate 2020 Margaret Robinson Associate 2020 Moyui Pithadia Associate 2020 Minokshi Deepak Navalaki Associate 2020 Hello everyone, this is Minakshi Deepak Navalaki from India. I'm fully excited to be a member of ICSC. Thank you, thank you all. Mulinda Mwanch Associate 2020 Hello, my name is Mulinda. I'm now an associate member of the Covid Governance Institute. I want to thank everybody that helped me along the way to get there. Thank you. Nicole Landry, Associate, 2020. Nora Patient Siam Zanja, Associate, 2020. Ola Weizan Olaruntu Mihin, Associate, 2020. Oshin Martor, Associate, 2020. Paulina Thorpe, Associate, 2020. Peter Mukandi, Associate, 2020. Pooja Sharma, Associate, 2020. and enraptured today while graduating from esteemed Chartered Governors Institute will endeavour with sincerity and hard work to prove worthy of the faith bestowed on my humble self. Thank you. Rachel Nagayi, Associate, 2020. Rajesh Vijayakumar, Associate, 2020. Rebecca Donnelly, Associate, 2020. Rebecca Collis, Associate, 2020. Reshma Padmanobhan, Associate, 2020. Rianka Jain, Associate, 2020. Sandra Mooney, Associate, 2020. 
Sara Shrouty. Associate 2020. Sara Shruti, my journey of becoming a Chartered Secretary has finally culminated. This wouldn't have been possible without the untiring support of my husband and my family. So thank you to each one of you. Sean Kenny, Associate, 2020. Shivani Srivastav, Associate, 2020. Thank you, ICSA. Ms. Caitlin Barnard, my friends and my loving family, without whose support I would not have been able to do this. Stephanie Kofi, Associate, 2020. Tracy Fung, Associate, 2020. Vishoko Vosudeva, Associate, 2020. Zachary Hanley, Associate, 2020. Zeal Doshi, Associate, 2020. Zena King, Associate, 2020. Abdul Mojid Yusuf, Fellow, 2020. Hi, my name is Abdul Mati Yusuf from the Republic of Ghana. I'm graduating today as a fellow of the ICSA UK. The feeling is great. Cheers. Claire McSwigan, Fellow, 2020. Darren Leonard, Fellow, 2020. David Fordan, Fellow, 2020. Deep Singh, Fellow, 2020. Irina Chakraborty, Fellow, 2020. Congratulations, Best 2021. I am so grateful to you for fellowship. I thank my parents, my husband, and my little daughter. Love you all. Gavin Stark, Fellow, 2020. Joanne Salazar, Fellow, 2020. Linda Dawn Sharp, Fellow, 2020. Mahesh Desai, Fellow, 2020. Mega Bhutani, Fellow, 2020. Nancy Marie and Chikusen, Fellow, 2020. Olumide Hansen, Fellow, 2020. Pratik Kapoor, Fellow, 2020. Sharon Brislin, Fellow, 2020. Hi, it's my big fellowship graduation today and I just wanted to thank everybody who supported me academically and otherwise. Thank you. Stella Torres, Fellow, 2020. Suresh Kumar Bhutani, Fellow, 2020. Toby Hewitt, Fellow, 2020. Verinda Rehall, Fellow, 2020. Veena Pidia, Fellow, 2020. Hi all, I'm so grateful to have been admitted as Fellow of ICSA the Chartered Governance Institute. Thank you to my family and friends for your support and encouragement for us. I'd like to thank everyone who has taken part. I hope you're as proud as you should be and that you have further plans to celebrate with family and friends. We're so pleased to have prepared this virtual ceremony for you. 
And I have to say that I really enjoyed seeing the photographs which you've sent in dressed as you would for a graduation ceremony. I hope you had fun preparing for this. And it reminds me of my own graduation from university many years ago, when by contrast, there were very strict rules in place regarding the dress code. And we had to line up for an inspection beforehand. To my horror, I failed that inspection. And I was given less than 20 minutes in which to find a pair of shoes which would be acceptable. Fortunately, I am ever the pragmatist. And with a black felt pen, I was able to paint over the green decoration on my shoes, which had caused such offence. I'm glad that the Institute focuses on celebration rather than regulation on this occasion. I particularly enjoyed hearing Rory Cosgrove talk today about his career and the opportunities being a governance professional has given him. He certainly had a varied career. And I have valued working with him over the last few years and his contributions as a board member. I would echo his sentiments that there are huge opportunities and a real increase in demand for the skills which you have all gained. Those of you who are newly qualified have taken that important first step to becoming a chartered member of the Institute. Your new post nominals, grad CG, or CG affiliated, not only illustrate your academic achievement, but also your commitment to your ongoing professional development. Those of you who are newly elected associates or fellows and entitled to call yourselves chartered secretary and chartered governance professional, will be illustrating to employers that you are not only qualified to work in governance, but that you also have relevant work experience, technical skills, and the professional standing to be an asset to any employer. I suspect that no one will disagree with the thought that this knowledge and these skills have never been needed more. There's always been a significant level of attention, hasn't there, on how organizations perform. And now the focus on how they behave has never been higher. As we move gradually into a post-pandemic economic environment, there's going to be strong attention on how companies treat their stakeholders. And of course, we all know that regulation and reporting requirements never stay still. The environment we're operating in is evolving to encompass developments, including the impact of big data and the pros and cons of artificial intelligence in broad decision making. Over the last year, I would say there's also been a spotlight on previously hidden or seemingly unlikely contractual and reputational risks, which boards have had to grapple with and which will have an ongoing impact. As your membership institute, I'm so proud that we will be with you all through this. We'll be there distilling down the changes and developments in policy through our technical briefings, our CPD events, our conferences. We are absolutely focused on supporting your day-to-day -day professional needs, your ongoing personal development, and of course, your future career aspirations. So please take full advantage of our online CPD events and training, our technical briefings and webinars, our regular guidance notes and resources, and remember that our annual conference in July, which is a really big and exciting event, fantastic for networking. And this year will include discussions on what the pandemic has changed for companies, what it means for them to be judged on their ethical behavior, how risks have developed and the impact of those technical advances, including AI. I'd also like to take the opportunity to echo Victoria's comments in her welcome remarks. Please take advantage of your local branch to connect with governance professionals in your area. There is really no substitute for developing contacts with people at different stages of their career to help you focus on your own growth and development. And of course, there are those who will become close friends. I hope you've developed a few of those already while you've been studying. We've come a long way in the last year in terms of virtual networking. And I hope very much to have the opportunity to meet many of you that way, and indeed in person at our events 
as soon as that option becomes safely available again. Until that time comes, I wish you well in your professional life, and I hope that you will continue to engage with us as a true partner in supporting your career. Finally, today, let's remember is a day for celebration. Do make the most of that and reflect on those hard won achievements. I'm very pleased that we'll be able to send you individually a link to your part of the ceremony to share with your family and friends. So many congratulations to everyone here today. I am so delighted for all of you. <laughs>